Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Finding Yourself podcast, the mini podcast series focused on movies and TV. I'm your host, Kyle Duffy. In today's episode, I will be discussing a TV show that I started watching this year called Solar Opposites, which was available up on Disney+. Plus. Solar Opposites is an American sitcom which was released in 2020, created by Justin Roiland, the creator of Rick and Morty, and it currently has two seasons available up on Disney+. Plus. The plot and premise of Solar Opposites is a very interesting one. It focuses on a group of aliens who crash land on planet earth after their own planet has been destroyed because their home planet has been destroyed and they're stuck on planet earth they spend the first year stuck there trying to figure out what everything means why everyone talks and acts the way they do and trying to figure out the culture of humanity that's how episode one actually opens we're introduced to the aliens trying to escape the planet for maybe the hundredth time i want to get into some of my main talking points about this show because i did really enjoy watching it it has a lot of similarities to rick and morty obviously because they're the same creator so the similarities would be in animation same kind of animation humor tone of writing the characters are well rounded and well developed justin roiland really brought everything he needed for this project to make it as entertaining and engaging as rick and morty there may only be two seasons of this show so far but i have no doubt there'll be plenty more seasons to come because the writing is so engaging so interesting the tone of the show is so upbeat even though they do touch on adult subjects from time to time it is very upbeat very light so it is an enjoyable watch you never come out of an episode thinking that was a bit too heavy or a bit too dark and i naturally gravitated towards the humor in the show obviously because i was a big fan of rick and morty and the humor is very similar so it just struck my funny bone straight away and it had me laughing throughout the first and second season another thing that i really liked about the this show was the unpredictable writing style that Justin Roiland often implements in his shows including Rick and Morty obviously and I believe that Justin Roiland implements this writing style to make it more engaging and exciting for his audience and also to give his TV shows a sense of realism because things are obviously going to knock away the script sometimes things are going to pop up they pop up in life and we have to deal with them and Justin Roiland implements this in his writing to make his TV shows as realistic as possible although solar opposites and Rick and Morty share things in common like strong character development, well-rounded strong characters, good sense of humour, good plot points and a good structure. The one thing that they don't have in common is the character dynamics and the relationship between the characters. In Rick and Morty, Rick is almost like a god by season 4. He's an all-knowing human being. He's pretty much the smartest person on earth compared to Morty who is just a stupid teenager who really knows nothing in comparison to his grandfather Rick and this creates a big power dynamic where what Rick says goes because he knows best and Morty is just in this powerless position because he isn't as smart as Rick he just has to go along with whatever Rick says because Rick knows best. In Rick and Morty this power dynamic is ever present and at the centre of a lot of character development for Rick and Morty and other members of their family. However it also hinders character development mainly for Rick because he's aware of this power dynamic he's aware of how smarter he is than everyone else and often resists developing as a person because his intellect won't allow him to develop relationships with other people because he views everyone as his subordinate and as his inferior so his intellect often makes him an island of a person and portrays him as a very lonely character whereas in solar opposites the group of aliens are all experiencing earth for the first time together and often have to lean on one another to help each other figure out what's going on what's being said and how do we make sense of this world because there is no power dynamic present within solar opposites it allows the characters to bond build connections as well as help each other grow as people and as characters because they're all in this together they're all trying to figure out art together and if one figures something out then that means they all figure something out because it's a group dynamic of learning and growing together to be honest there's only one downside to solar opposites as a show that i can identify and that lies in a side plot that is brought up and established in maybe episode two of season one this side plot is well thought out and very interesting and because it's so interesting that's where its downfall lies often tv shows will introduce a side plot to keep the audience and the viewers interested give us an extra incentive to keep watching week after week solar opposites 
took this tactic early on and introduced a side plot in season one. However, this side plot became way more enticing and way more entertaining to watch than the actual main plot of the show, which in one way is a testament to the caliber of writing on this show. If a show is able to introduce a side plot and make it just as entertaining and intriguing to watch as the main plot, then that is a sign of great writing. However, when the side plot overpowers the main plot, then that becomes a problem. The side plot introduced in Solar Opposites is probably, in my opinion, one of the more interesting side plots I've ever seen developed in a TV show. It kept me on the edge of my seat and has become the main reason why I'm still watching the show, which is not a good thing in my opinion, because if someone is watching a show for one scene, for one actor, for one side plot, then they're not fully invested in the show as a whole. And let's face it, if we're not fully invested in the show, then we're not going to be watching full episodes. We're going to get our fill and get our gratification from that side plot that we love, that character that we gravitated towards, or that one scene that we were watching for. Though I do believe that the main plot being overpowered by a side plot can be a detriment to a show. However, this could be corrected in Solar Opposites down the line, but it is one problem that I've kind of analysed and pinpointed from watching the show over the two seasons. Now, don't get me wrong, I want this plot point to stay in because it is so intriguing and so well thought out and so creative but it could end up hurting the show as a whole down the line this has been my quick review of solar opposites i would highly recommend giving the show a watch on disney plus if you get a chance especially if you're a big fan of rick and morty and that style and that humor hope you guys enjoyed this episode and thanks for listening